70 tons of surplus butter. How am I supposed to deliver this all by myself? I don't even own a damn car. Wait, is that Lulu? Hey, Lulu! I screamed as I waved. I asked her for help. She didn't seem pleased, but she agreed to help me. I knew this would happen. There was an awkward silence in the car. Think, think, what can I say? <clears throat> I'm sorry about your late husband. Really? That's the best you could do? God damn it. Why didn't you think of something that would actually start a conversation? Hmm. How nice it would be to drive up to the lookout and take it in the view. What? She wants to be alone? With me? Uh... Yeah, I can't. I have to get home with this butter. I told her. Hmm. It's like I didn't even say anything. She turned around and we were on our way. Yeah. I really don't think we should be alone like this. <laughs> Relax, I'm not going to bite. Can I just take a minute to look at the view? Hmm. If that was all you wanted, it'd be different. Wait. I know that look in her eyes. Oh. Mm. My mind was clear. There was only one thing I wanted. Lulu. It's midnight. I'm sure Marie's still up waiting for me. But everything is cool. I'm walking perfectly fine. Meaning I'm not drunk. You smell like churn. Funny story. I had to deliver 17 tons of butter. Did you swim on it too? No. But I knew it was lying. I did more than just swim on that butter. Anyways, where's our butter? You got to be kidding me. I forgot the damn butter. <laughs>